Hey guys, welcome back to Heist of Ichu Gaming. Acob here with uh, another game of EU4 playing the Malacca campaign. So, as you can probably notice, we're out of um, Regency Council, as you can tell by the fact we're in a war right now. Um, we have colonists a few things, but you haven't really missed much. Uh, and I'm just gonna continue this war. We have support of these rebels, and we're just gonna just gonna hop across here. Uh, it's gonna we're gonna take a lot of losses because of the amount of decay that we get there, but well. Um... Yeah, we'll just go across. I know I take a lot of losses, like a ton of losses going across here, but I think I need to, to be honest. I think it's kind of important, just because, well, I don't know why. I really don't. But I, I just, I lose so many troops. That's, that's the basic story behind it. I lose a ton of troops. Anyway, um, I've got a few cogs that are being built. They've just been built, and we're going to send them on to my main army. And I think my troops survive with not that much losses, to be honest. It's usually a lot more grim for me. But, oh yeah, that's pretty grim already. 12 and 11,000 troops, but it's not that bad. We saved up a ton of manpower while we were waiting, so uh, it's, not, it's not horrible. It really isn't horrible. But we're just going to kind of continue. Uh, AU3 does not have too many troops at all. They've got um, a huge lacking of troops, to be honest. Oh, now they have no troops. Um, they were just in a war with Keimer, and apparently they just pieced out. And now they've got no troops. I have no clue why. So, yeah, that's bad for them. Good for me. Bad for them. In fact, I think it's so bad for them that I'm going to... Um, Detach enough for a siege, then go up. Detach enough. Well, I'm gonna. Yeah, never mind. Detach enough for a siege, then go up. Um, I believe this is gonna result in an easy win for me, militarily. Um, I don't have the most morale troops, and I don't have the most full army. But once that. Yeah, that second group's in now. Anyway, basically, we're just gonna sit here for the rest of the war. We're gonna try to take piece by piece from them. And. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's textbook at this point. Uh, as you can see, my troops are so demoralized. Well, not demoralized. Um, so hurt. I should have, like. Uh, how much would there be? I've got at least double that amount of troops there that should be there but they're not there uh, and the reason for that is because of walking across those two provinces with the rebels really does kill your troops numbers or from 18 down to 12 so that was pretty bad detach the first siege Move right there And every month I'm probably going to get more troops, so I'll just detach for enough for a siege and then keep going over and again, over and over again. But yeah, this this war is pretty much done. I mean, it was easy. Um, I don't know where their uh, fleet is. Their fleet's kind of missing, which kind of concerns me, but at the same time, I don't really care. Okay, so, um, we get 2,000 per month, that's not the best amount, but could be worse. Every month or so I should get like one troop, so once these hit four, I'm going to split them in half and send them to Caesar different province. Let's see. Still no fours? No fours yet? No, okay. Um, so it's gonna be slow. It's gonna be a slow game. Okay. But 
it'll be fine. They've only got um, five unseized provinces, six if you count their, that other country. It'll be easy. Ming has fallen into rebellion. That's not good for them. They have lost the Mandate of Heaven, I believe. Uh, Manchu is formed. Not looking good for Ming. G gonna say it right now. Not looking good for them. Any fours? Here? Hey, there's a four. There is a four. Select the army, split in half, and set that right there. Any other fours? No. But we got all the rebels going down there, so that's not good. Uh, it's gonna kill. Well, it's gonna siege it faster, but it's gonna kill what's left of my troops, but. Ah, eh, whatever. Are they really gonna march on to me right now? Are you kidding me? They are. They're actually gonna march on to me. They're still gonna do it. Will these people learn? Well, I'm gonna need all the support I can get then, I guess. Can they even win this at all? No, they can't. What? I'm not moving my troops, I'm just keeping them there. Screw it. They, they can just wait. Sorry about that. Um, that was. I tried to pause it, but I feel I need to pause my EU4 as well. Um, anyway, it's. This is just a very odd. I'm not gonna chase them down because I don't see the point in chasing them down. But still, that was a very odd attack. I, I don't, I don't know. Don't know why they did that. And if they come back again, I'm gonna be very, very confused. Uh. Come on, I want I want a four somewhere. A four would be great. Any fours? Still no fours. Where are all those troops going? Like they've got to be going somewhere. It's very odd. Well, at least we're gonna have one province seized. And in fact, I think once my uh, once the rebels siege this province, I believe they go away, which means I can unsupport them. I uh, probably won't do that till I've seized all the lands, and then I will unsupport them. But it's not. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, still only one four. Select the army, split in half, go up north, siege that. I know I could split in half with two, sorry, with threes, um, but I'm not gonna risk it. Well, not risk it, but I'm not gonna take the penalty. Uh, I'm just gonna go with fours. Okay, we've won a siege somewhere. I believe it's at seven and one. Yes, it is. And there's no more troops left for the rebels. Um, so we're just gonna keep marching up on up. Why not? Is there any fours? Oh, we got a four. Yep. Half there. Uh, that was a fully reinforced four. A lot of these st are starting to be fully reinforced fours. Uh, that's really good just because if like three of those guys come back at me, then I could end up having a 4v3 if fully reinforced, I win automatically. So that's starting to look pretty decent for me. This war is over by the way, it's, it's they've got no hope. Lose one stability or 25 legitimacy. I'll take the legitimacy. Um, I know I shouldn't, but uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, I believe that will be the last province that I need to siege. Oh, can I get all the way up here? Will Pegu give me military access? Oh, they will. Oh, great. It's my lucky day. So I'm gonna move them up there. Um, get ready for an attack. I'm probably going to need at least four to do a successful attack. I don't know what I'm going to do with that country when I get them, but I can do stuff. Anyway, um, once I, well, things are looking really good now. 
They really are. That's a 4,000 and that will be fully reinforced, so that's good. Need those two provinces. Well, that's one of my war goals, so I really do need them. Am I being blockaded by any chance? No, I'm not. Okay, where is their navy? Has anyone seen their navy? I saw them over there um, when I first moved my guys back, but I don't know where else they went. By the way, I'm probably going to have a really close border with Ming. Uh, that's not good. I just realized how close my borders are going to be. But that's okay. Oh, they're going into that massive decline. It'll be fine. Um, I can double my money, lose 10 prestige, or I can gain 10 prestige and gain piety. I'll lose piety and get the money. I think losing piety is a good strategy now. But, um,. I don't really like the loss of prestige. Kinda hurts. But I'll get I'll get it back. I'll get it back. How many troops do they have by the way? Ah, uh, it's still four thousand, okay. Okay, so now we've won a siege. We're gonna go unsupport those guys. And we're going to steal their lands from the rebels. Great. Just how I drew it up. I'm just hoping no rebels spawn on me. That'd be really bad, because I don't think I can crush rebels. I think the rebels are too advanced. Because those are patriot rebels. Um, so I want one of these guys to finish and come over here and help these guys down here. Too much to ask for, probably. They want peace. I don't want peace. I want their territories. That's what I want. Um, it'd be great if I could get this. Nope, of course not. One of these two would be great if I could get them, bring them down here, siege this, be great. The Mac now has my culture, which is good. Uh, I'll work on Cal uh, Calipa, which will be done. I'm gonna have a full culture group. Well, not anymore. Once I take over this, I, I won't, but whatever. By the way, I think I'll have all the Malay Peninsula now. Um, so I just need to colonize these three, and then I will be able to form Malaya, which is great news for me. That's what I've been wanting to do this whole game. For Malaya. Really wish there was a fast forward button. That'd make everything easier. It really would. I believe this is done. Yep. Move them up to there. And once they get on there, that should finish that siege faster. Then they can go attack that country. Move them up there. So I'm probably going to attack with a set of... Oh, I don't know. Is 10 going to be... Will I be able to attack with a set of 10? By the way, I feel like I'm missing in parts of my army. I, I really do. I feel like there's just 10 of them just gone. Okay, I've seized the capital. Um, so, select army. I could probably win that siege right away. Um, that's got... 4,000 and 8,000, so I need 4,000 
normal troops. I don't want that, so let's try to reorganize our armies a little bit. Okay, so that one's good. This one, not good. Okay, what do I need up here? Need those guys to leave. Uh, is it at 35? It's at 35, that's okay. So I need another 2,000 of those. Okay, that's good. Move them onto there. Actually, no, I, I could just reunite those troops. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Reunite with these guys. Um, so that will give me... I need four more. A decent split. Okay. So I'm going to use these guys as well. So the question is, where are these guys going to go? That's a good question. I'm just going to finish my siege. Okay, so I've won that. Um, and once I get those four and four of these guys up there, I should have about 21. I'll take the extra soldier, I believe it is, and move that off. Move these two down to there. Move these two down to there. Kalapa. Okay, how many troops are here total? We've got 10 and 11. So let's create a new unit. Takes this one guy, select him, and throw him over here. Why not? Because 500 guys are going to matter. Definitely. If I could seize that right now, it'd be great. Um, okay, so let's move, let's just move all of them down to right here. Even though the other one is blocked, is, like, the walls have been breached, it'll be okay. Um, get this hopefully done soon. So how many troops do I have here? I'm gonna go for a even 10 and 10 split. Oh, they have appeared. Good news. Not for them, but good news for me. Okay, so, um, I need to take, I've got two extra of those guys, select this unit, throw them over there, and it'd be great if one of these two would fall, but I'm not expecting much. I don't know why I'm still sitting there, because it's not going to do anything. <sighs> That's fallen, that's good. Uh, take these guys, no, not those guys, these guys. So they're right there, and I will have my 10 on each. That's good. These guys should fall now. Is it gonna fall, is it gonna fall? Huh? Are you gonna fall for me? Please, 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 please. Good. It's fallen. And that's easy piece of cake. One siege of the land. Hop on there, win, win this siege. And I just need to win this one too. Very tempted to just assault. I know I probably could successfully assault it. But I want to keep my manpower reserves up. What, what did I do in going over there? Did I put them on the boats? No, I didn't. Idiots. So tempted to do it. I really think I could beat them because the morale is just not that good.
but we're gonna wait. Rebels, still don't have that many rebels. Um, can I fix any cultures? Uh, oh, I can, good. Fix any autonomies, Kedri. Kedri, oh, it's just, this is five that um, I won back. Unrest, I can almost take them down, but it's not looking too safe to take them down. So I'll need to wait a little bit longer. I believe once I get to this war, I need to fix my overextension, because that's going to be a problem too. Oh, I'm so tempted to just assault. I'm just... You guys can't even imagine. I know I could probably do it. You know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. I know it's wrong. I know it completely is wrong, but let's see what happens. I can just wait for the morale to come back. I lost a lot of troops there. Wow. That wasn't worth it. Gonna go out on a limb and say that was not worth it. Although I could throw my other guys back up there. No. Not worth it. Um, What can I even get from those guys? I don't think I can get anything. Super peace? What, what can they give me? I, I don't really want the vassal. Although it's not gonna hurt. They could go free. No, I, I want the vassal. I do want the vassal. I changed my mind. So what's it going to look like I'm going to get from these guys? Do they still have land? Oh, it's just that one thing left. Anyway, what am I going to get? I'm going to get this, this, this. Hmm. It's quite a bit of land. going to have to admit that. But I want that, and it kind of shuts them off from the border. Could get all that land. But I don't, I don't want something um, uncored or whatever. Something that far away. Could pull this one off. That's not a bad idea. That's probably what I'm going to take, to be honest. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to end up taking that much. Uh, it's going to make people mad, but who cares. Now we're just going to wait. So close to get... Oh, no, there's still people who live there. No. Oh, how am I going to get people off of there? Nah, that, I've got plenty of time. Took a long time before that colonizes anyway. Um, what can I get next? Quest for the New World. Uh, I want the other colonist. Uh, holy crap. Dali's made its appearance. Uh, Calm is going to make its appearance. Yan's probably... This is going to look ugly for me. Um, it really will. Now I'm playing with um, a special DLC. Um, well, not DLC, but you know what I mean. That kind of thing. Um, the thing, you know... Um, What's it called? Uh, something from the workshop. I can't remember. Uh, mod, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, basically it splits China up into... Uh, well, the normal game splits them up to different culture groups, but this kind of adds, makes it more susceptible. So if you look... Um, is this going to do anything? Well, it's going to be split up a lot like this, to be honest. Uh, it's gonna look a lot, yeah, like this. Uh, this would be your Yao. Well, you just watch my other series, actually, guys. Uh, I haven't put up any videos in a while, but I'm gonna be doing one very soon. Just watch my other series, and you'll understand how China is. Um, although you'll see when this splits up. Oh, there it goes come. Uh, you'll see once China falls apart, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, they split up kind of miraculous, not miraculously, but spectacularly. And 
this should be about done. <sighs> one province, come on, it's just one province I'm waiting for. One province. By the way, who's my useless leader? Oh, it's a naval leader. Ah, okay. Let's put the naval leader on the navy. Effect trade in... Wait, has it been damaged? No, they haven't. Hey, we won that siege, that's good. Uh, protect trade in Malacca. Don't need to, but just to make it even more secured. Um, first truce is going to be with Tanuga, sorry, Tanugu or whatever. Uh, I could go full annexation, but I would never, it would never work. So let's go vassal. And my treaty with these guys. It's going to be what we discussed before. Hey, it's a 99%. Ooh. Maybe I can get... No. Do you think I'd be able to get another province? No, no, no. Um, I believe just one of them went down in value. That's it. Oh, no. I should probably wait. Yeah. Um, need to wait for that to become part of... Like... A, a valuable... What... You, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Um... Okay, so I think this is good. And that's gonna make people mad, but we got a cast of ability. Oh, national decision. Oh, can't. I thought I could have um, done that thing. Where I form into Malaya, but it's not gonna work. Um, I knew there was a very slim chance of getting that, but whatever. Uh, so we do have. Well, none of these are true, but once we get Borneo, I believe we'll get that. Uh, lose piety to get tax. I will take that. Reduce overextension. Yes, please. Uh, we're not going to be defenders of the faith. Not doing that again. Um, going to move these guys over here. And I believe we're going to have a lot of rebels. Yep. Uh, a lot of rebels. Great. Although we're pretty stable. What, what's the revolt risk looking like? 17... Probably just because of overextension. Uh, I don't think it'll be that bad, right guys? Right? Right? Uh, I think I'm screwed. Um, nope, and there's not even a revolt risk person. That, that's bad. Okay. Let's see how much it jumps up. Uh, ooh. I'm not liking how much that jumped up there in the first turn. Let's hope I can throw some of these cores down fast, because I'm going to need that. But now my country is really getting big. That's good. Manchu's going to take a fortune, by the way. Uh, oh, Shun now exists. That's a thing. Okay. Uh, they've got rebels. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'll help them out. Why not? It's peasant rebels. I can take that. Oh, look at all these 40s. Oh, boy. Harsh treatment. Eh, 50. It's not bad. Eh, 50 as well. Not bad. I know some of them are going to be 100. 50. 50. Okay. That'll work. I can live with this. If I lose the rub to the rebels, it's gonna be pathetic. No, and I don't. Okay, so my vassal likes me more. I can annex them later on, but probably not going to. Pegu, do they like me? No, no, they don't. Can't even get a royal marriage. Okay, that's sad. Fifty on that. On that. Um. Let's see, Mon Patriots, I believe that's a 50 as well. Oh, so I think these are all 50s, okay. That's not bad. Bad things, I'm running out of points. That's bad. But, it'll live, I hope. 
Oh, I'm so close to forming Malaya. So close. Would it have been quicker to form all, get all these pieces? I don't know. And I don't think I'll ever find that one out. Malacan pe uh, peasants. I knew that one was going to be expensive. I don't want Malacan peasants. You guys seen last time what happened with Malacan peasants. It is ugly. It really is. Um, where's all my unrest? I've got unrest in like every province probably. Oh no, no, that's not that bad. Just Java. Um, eh. It's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay at all. Not at all. Um, I'm gonna have to get ready to fight these rebels. Because they're coming. And they ain't holding off. Uh, Central Type Patriots. Okay. Yep. Um, guess what? We're getting rebels again. Oh, great. Lucky me, right, guys? Lucky me. <sighs> probably gonna have rebels next turn, to be honest. Or, well, no, it's probably shoot up to 90, but it could get. It could hit 100. 80, okay. Um. I'm gonna have a lot of rebels. Not gonna lie. Um, if I get this, what will it do? Uh, nothing. Great. Can I please get a revolt risk person? Nope. Nope. I know it's only administrative, but it's worth trying. Malacan peasants. They want autonomy like everywhere. Oh boy. And loss of prestige. Uh, nope, not doing it. Screw you guys. I shall live. This is gonna be a long session. Um, but I'm gonna ignore it because on the 1st of January I'm gonna just say, you know what? Screw it. And introducing rebels. Oh, oh rebels, that's not that much. Okay. Well, guys, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, the war against Euthria. Um, we've pretty much taken them out. We're going to have to take them out again, but uh, it's that'll yeah, be fine. Anyway, um... Remember to like to subscribe, all that good stuff really helps us out, and take care guys, see you next time.